Good morning everyone, this is Kath here from Journaling Junkie and I'm here today to show you my new DT project for Caroline's Craft Tree. Uh, I'm using the Hummingbird Digital Collection. Uh, it's just a small junk journal that I've made this time instead of one of my usual tomes. Um, it measures 7.5 by 5.5. It's one signature. And there are 72 pages in here. That doesn't include things like doilies and little tuck spots and things like that. Okay, so it just fastens with uh, a twine tie here. On the front, there's lots of um, detail. Uh, some beautiful fabric here. Uh, vintage lace. Uh, this is a lace pocket here. Uh, and some writing on the front which says with brave wings she flies uh, first of all I must apologize about my hands as you can see they're quite red and that's because I had an argument with some brush hose yesterday and the brush hose won so please excuse the state of them okay so on to the inside so we've got some uh, ephemera. This is from the kit here. And a little tag here. A vintage lace pocket. And live life like a hummingbird. I've made a little dingly dangly here. Beautiful images. Uh, there's lots of stitching detail, stenciling, that's a vintage book page and uh, it's a little pocket and in here just added some embellishments onto the little journaling card here and some paper. It is a really beautiful little kit. journaling card there. This actually looks quite red does the stitching on here but it is uh, a pink journaling card here with a little pocket. Homemade doily. This is some uh, hand dyed paper that I did with brush hose, hence the uh, red hands. And then a little pocket with some detail in here. Oh, I haven't put a ribbon in there, we'll do that. Beautiful imagery there, bubbling bright. paper bag there. This is just a little tag. I've made a uh, handmade homemade doily here and uh, I'll just move that. That just slides out of there like a little bookmark. The vintage uh, book page. Plenty of writing space in here. Little tag. More writing space there. Edith Holden. And then I've just made a little book tag that uh, slips into there. Another little dingly dangly. And a little tuck spot here with just some bits of ephemera in there. More stenciling. A little flip out. A 
This is a little vellum envelope that I've, read, that I've made. Some ephemera in there. A little ticket in there. I've left this so that you can either stick it in or use it as a, a, a slot like I've done here. And here we have an, an envelope. This is also from the kit. I've left this open so you can just use it as a pocket, tuck spot, envelope, whichever you prefer. And a little journaling card in that. Vintage book page here that I thought went lovely with the colours. More vintage book page. Another little dingly dangly. Fall to the better word. And then we'll come to the middle of the signature. So here we have a little pocket that I've embellished and some journaling space there. And that's the same at this side. And then here I've got an envelope with some writing paper and a little journaling card there. A little tuck spot here. A tag that uh, from the kit. Beautiful, bright colours on this. This is a, a double envelope. I'll just show you the imagery on the front. Whichever way it goes, that's it. And then little pockets there. So the first time I've uh, used one of Caroline's kits and they are really lovely to work with. So much potential in there. Some writing space again, it's the hand dyed paper. Little word in there. And then we have a lace detail. Uh, belly band there. Tag. A little bit of detail in here. Another dingly dangly vintage lace down there. Another little tag. And I've added uh, one of the little dingly dangly clusters there. A long tag there. Another homemade doily. There's a little envelope here that opens up. Some ephemera in there. And then that's a little tuck spot that goes in there. Uh, I fussy cut this bird out and stuck it on there, made it look quite vintagey. And then uh, this is just half of a, a doily that I had. I thought you could stuck it on, stick it somewhere and use it as a, a little tuck spot like that. Or a little pocket or whatever you like with that one. A little envelope or journaling paper, whichever you prefer. A 
little tag here. Another image from the kit. And then here, I printed this out on coffee dyed paper. So there's a lot of journaling space there. Another dingly dangly. And then to the back page where I've made a little pocket here. I've not stuck it here so you can get larger things in if you like. And it's just some bits and bobs that I've put in here. This is leftover ephemera. Another little long tag there. it. I hope you've uh, enjoyed watching this video. Uh, please take a look at my Etsy shop where this will be listed later on today and I'll post the link below both for my Etsy shop and for Caroline's Craft Tree um, shop on Etsy. Please take a look there as well. There we go. Thank you for looking and I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye.